Fox 5's Michelle Ross is live at Columbus Circle with more on how New Yorkers are reacting tonight to Biden's decision. Michelle. Hey there, Arthur. When it comes to politics these days, it can be extremely difficult to find a group of different people who agree on certain things. But from what we gathered today, the common consensus among Biden supporters, Trump supporters, and independent voters was that Joe Biden made the correct decision in dropping out of this presidential race. But where they differentiated was how they felt about it. Politicos swiftly sharing their thoughts on President Joe Biden dropping out from the presidential race. But what about the voice of the average person casting their ballot in November? How do they feel? Oh, I'm so sad that he's stepping down, but it's the right thing for him at this point. I just think that he's had it physically and mentally, and that uh, it would be cruel to keep him another four years. It's difficult for people, I think, to move on, and he's just had his whole career around politics. So I'm really happy for him, and I hope he enjoys the, the years after this with his family and friends. Some believe it's a decision that should have been made much earlier. Well, he should step down, because, and the question is, why has he stepped down until now? Who was running the country all these years? Another question that remains, who should take his place? Do you think Kamala is the better alternative at this point? I don't know. No, it's not. It's not all the failed policies. She's part of the team. You can't just now bifurcate the team. He's a great man. I love him. But I'm happy to see that Kamala Harris is going to be our candidate. If she's going to be able to defend herself against Trump, I guess, yeah. You're a Trump supporter. Yes, ma'am. happy to see Kamala step up yes. instead. I mean, yeah, he, it needs to be fair. You know, the lies need to stop. And let the city vote. Let the city pick. But Trump is the one who's going to get take it. I'm curious to see what the Democratic Party does moving forward. While Harris may be the obvious next choice, that has not been determined yet. But looking at national polls, on average, Biden had been trailing behind Trump by about three points. You put Harris in his place, and she's still trailing, but by about two points. We're live in Columbus Circle. Michelle Ross, Fox 5 News.